Welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Just a quick update on uh, how I'm doing. Uh, in the last episode, I purchased a new ship, I, uh, the Cobra 3. And I made, oh, maybe just a half a dozen or so trips. And made enough money that uh, I was able to purchase this ship. Now, this ship is uh, registered as a freighter. It is, um, let's see, what do they call this? They call this the Lacon Type 6. It's a freighter, and it has a cargo capacity of 100. And the difference in, the, uh, in this freighter is the ability to jump. Now, with the Sidewinder, I was able to jump uh, 7.9 light years. And with the um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, the Cobra, I was able to jump 9.4. With this, the Lacon Type 6, I can jump 28.559 light years. So now that is um, empty. And let me switch the page I'm looking at here. Uh, give you a few more statistics on this. If I've got a full cargo, then I can only jump 15.6, but even so, uh, that's almost 10,000 more than I could jump with the uh, Sidewinder and the other one, the other little hauler. So, um, unfortunately, it took all my credits to buy this thing, so I wasn't able to, uh, to fill my cargo. Uh, I've got clothing that's going back to Ibutus, and I was only able to uh, purchase about 27 units. I think it was 27 units. Cargo. Let's see here. Yeah, 27 uh, units of cargo out of 100. So, uh, but let's take a look at this thing. As you notice, it's pretty much, it's pretty much open. It's all glass. So the visible, even in the bottom, look at that. That's kind of cool. And if you look at the uh, representation of my ship in hologram over there, um, right there, with the blue circles around it, it's pretty much a big box. It's a, um, it's a big box, and right on the front is a little cockpit. And that's what I'm sitting in. Right behind me is uh, nothing but uh, cargo space. So that's kind of cool. Everything about this ship is pretty cool. Now I have to be really careful though because the um, insurance on this is about 12,000 credits. And I don't have 12,000 credits so if I crash this thing I'm starting all over. So I'm going to have to be really careful so I can build up a little bit of money here. So um, let's see, the maximum, maximum speed is 220 M per second. Uh, the maximum boost speed is 350 M per second. It only has two hard points. Let's go to the um, fitting room and I'll let you take a look at this thing. Okay, so there's the hard point down below. And let's see, there's two of them, one on each side. I only have one of them that's uh, armed. And then that's what it looks like from the outside. So just just this little bitty cockpit, and the rest is all cargo space. Pretty cool though; it's all glass. But uh, that's what she looks like. Pretty excited. Um, I'll show you the exciting part once we get out into space here. So that being said, let's uh, let's give her a launch. Here we go. 
Wow, it is really open with all that glass. I like it. It's a whole heck of a lot different looking than that first hauler I had that looked like the Winnebago. Wow, that was close. Okay, let's see what this thing will do. First of all, let's set a course. We're going to... Going back to Alun. Prepare ship for launch. Retracting landing gear and lights are now off. Power to default. Ship power now at default settings, sir. Power to engines. Power to engines increased. Okay, let's get uh, lined up here get um, into space. We're not mass locked anymore. I'm going to bring her to a stop and I want to bring up the galaxy map and I'll show you what's so exciting about this ship. If you remember when we looked at the galaxy map before, look at all the jump lines. Look at that. If you remember before, there were only one or two jump lines. I can really jump now. So this opens up a whole lot more space for me. So that's that's why I was pretty excited to get this ship. Now there is one uh, another uh, bigger ship than this, and that's going to be my next goal. Uh, if I'm staying in this. Um, you know where I'm a hauler, where I'm doing uh, just shipping freight and stuff. Uh, then this is a Lacon Type Six. The next one's a, a Lacon Type Nine Heavy, and its cargo capacity is 440 units. So it's uh, four times more than this one. Um, now the difference in it is the jump capability on that is smaller than this one. The jump capability on the uh, Type 9 is only 17,722, and that's empty. But, you know, that's okay. Um, so, let's take a look at the... Um, let me go to the next page that I'm looking at. My other monitor here. And the jump capacity of this ship... Uh, fully loaded is uh, 13,000 uh, light years. But if you think about the first couple of ships I had were only, you know, five, six, seven uh, light years, uh, you know, pretty much uh, unloaded. Um, you know, even 13 light years is a pretty good deal when you're, you know, jumping uh, with 440 uh, units of cargo. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Let's go back. The also the Lacon Nine has a, a crew capacity of three. Um, this one that I'm flying here, I think, is a single single crew. Let's see if it says I only I only see one. So yes, it's crew of one. So anyway, we can pretty much go um, well anywhere we want now in this particular area so let's uh, get out of here to start with I need to deliver this I'm gonna stay pretty close to home until I get some credits built up because if I crash this thing I've got no insurance prepare a ship for hyperdrive hyperdrive charging commander and the other thing I like is this dashboard it's pretty simplistic but if you look right in front of the scanner there it says lack on in blue, uh, neon, isn't that cool? Gotta love it. Ready to engage. Engage. Engaging hyperdrive. Let's see how she jumps. Not quite as fast as a Cobra. Three, two, 
but it's not meant to be. It's a, it's a freighter. Her up for a loon enterprise and put her in cruise control. Let's see how this thing handles. Th this is my first flight, by the way. I uh, started this recording two seconds after I purchased it, so I was really surprised because I thought that I was going to have to. Uh, I mean, I made uh, I made hundreds of, of uh, deliveries to get that Cobra. And all of a sudden, you know, after just a few, well, it might have been a little more than half a dozen, but I didn't do any more than like 10, 12, uh, and I had enough money to buy this. Now, I, I shouldn't have probably jumped up and bought it uh, that quick because I left myself with absolutely no credits, which is not good. Oh, man, I'm going to overshoot. Ah. That's what I get from talking. Wow, it seemed like it got here pretty fast. Alright, let's try this again. Now I'm going to be coming from the back side of the station, though. doing this so many times I've never I've never done such a bad job of getting here. That's what I get for trying to talk and fly at the same time. Although this is a new ship and I'm not really used to it so it seems to it seems to um, fly pretty good through super drive. Because that sure seemed to get here pretty quickly. I mean, I've barely got the throttle going. Exit hyperdrive. Exit hyperdrive. Exiting hyperdrive now, sir. Alright, let's see how close I am to the station. I think I probably overshot it again. Which is okay, because I overshot it. No, I didn't. I'm right on top of it. Very good. Okay, now I want to see what the boost will do. The boost is not as much as the... Uh, Cobra. But it's not too bad. Not too bad a boost. Deploy weapons. Weapons are online, sir. Yeah, I can't see them. Yeah, they're under the ship, I guess. Retract weapons. Weapons now being disengaged, Commander. Power to default. Ship power now at default settings, sir. Power to systems. Adjusting power to systems, Commander. <laughs> Make sure I get all my power to systems so my shields are the hardest. At full power. ship for docking. Lights and landing gear activated. The ship is ready to dock, sir. Good luck. Look at the stars Request going by. Granted. Cool. This is so cool. I think I'm going to like this ship if I don't crash it. Because <laughs> it took a hell of a long to get the money to buy it. Uh, also, you remember in the last episode I told you, I think it was the last one, right, where I confessed that I crashed that other freighter I had, or the other, uh, uh, yeah, well, I guess it was the Cobra that I had. Uh, since then, I've switched the button for boost. It's not I so easy not to hit. 
it's a lot harder to hit, so. All right, here we come. Detecting hostile scan. Looks like there's a ship right in front of me. This thing handles pretty good. And it sounds good. It sounds like a proper ship. Okay, we're looking for 35. And there it is. Right there. Now look, we can see through the bottom of the ship. Oh, you gotta love it. Look at that. I'm actually the cockpit's actually on the outside of the ship, really. Okay, I kicked it up to six thousand. I still don't have enough for insurance. Six thousand eight sixty nine. Six eight six nine. Swap that out. Do a quick search for. So it wants me to take synthetic food back to I, uh, to uh, Ibutus, and I can hold 78 units of that, and profit, and let's see, where's my profit, uh, profit, 8,892 for that trip, 21,000 for the round trip, because when I get to Ibutus, I can get clothing, and uh, the return profit would be 12,200. So it won't take <clears throat> it won't take me long to build up a little bit of credits, and I want to get at least the insurance caught up. So anyway, that was just a very quick update and let you know where I'm at in the game and what's happening. And as soon as I get the uh, insurance built up, where I know I'm safe that way. Uh, I'll come back in in the next episode and we'll do a little bit of exploring now that I can jump so far. And there's a lot of places. I've been playing this game for a few weeks now and there's only a couple of systems I've seen uh, because I didn't have the capability to jump very far. Uh, and, I, and I tended to stay in the systems where I was making the most profit jumping back and forth. So basically I've been running uh, most of the time between um, Alun and uh, iBudis those two systems because they had the best uh, well for what I was doing they had the best profit margin so anyway I'm going to call this a quick little episode and uh, update on what I'm doing and and like I say we'll take a look at the uh, universe uh, galaxy when we come back the next time in the meantime I wish you well and have a good night <laughs>